Hi, this is Stephanie and Derek Evelo here with the Evelo team at Keller Williams Realty. Thanks for joining us. We're going to talk about maximizing your listing price while minimizing your expenses today. So stay with us. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about maximizing your listing price while minimizing your expenses. So uh, Derek, so what's, what's the first thing that, that someone can do or consider? First thing you want to do is create demand and by creating demand, which means uh, if you're looking to sell your home is to price your home competitively, uh, maybe even uh, underprice it a little bit to try to create a frenzy. Most people want to try to start higher and think that buyers will come up to their price, but um, really in, in order to create a, a buying frenzy, you want to pri price it properly or even below value so that then uh, you, you create that sense of urgency from buyers and you'll actually end up selling it for more. So yep. uh, home improvements before listing. There's, there's lots of different home improvements uh, to do with um, kitchens or baths or all kinds of different things, but you want to stick to what's going to bring you the most value for the least expense. So um, lots of different uh, home improvement ideas. Number three is replace tired flooring. You know, flooring you can never go wrong with, but you want to be careful about that and, and make sure that uh, you're picking out the right flooring. Um, and especially if, if your flooring's been there for over about five years or any stains and things, you definitely want to address your flooring. And, and we do have uh, professionals that, that we can we get can you in contact with. Yep, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, next one is paint, paint, paint. Paint goes a long way. Paint's pretty inexpensive. I'm not a big fan of painting myself, but if I'm looking to sell my home and I want to maximize my dollar, I'm going to get some brushes and some rollers and start doing it. So, uh, and you're going to want to neutralize. Yeah. You're going to want to neutralize everything. Yeah. So. I mean, if you have rooms, the kids' rooms that are like Pepto Bismol pink and purple and different colors because that's what they wanted, you know, when they were living in that room it's probably best to neutralize it, whether that means going white or whether that means going beige with white trim or something like that, so. And uh, last, revitalizing your kitchen. Uh, you know, kitchen's one of the main focal yeah. points of, of every home. Mm -hmm. And so you wanna look at updating and upgrading maybe the kitchen, but you don't wanna over upgrade. So um, just be, be cautious and careful about what you're looking at upgrading as far as counters or um, fixtures or uh, handles and things like that. But uh, if you have any questions about what you maybe should address or should not address and uh, need it or need any recommendations, you can always give us a call, yep. call, text, email, and uh, we'd be happy to, to discuss those uh, ideas that you might have and, and see if they would bring you value in, in your resale. So thanks so much for joining us again. We hope this has uh, been helpful. And remember, as always, make, make each, each moment count. Bye-bye. Have a great day.